When you go into the country on a sunny day, the enchanting beauty of flowers draws your attention. When you examine the flowers a bit more closely, you come across another interesting creature. This is the honeybee, the most disciplined of nature's architects. Honeybees live in colonies and produce one of the world's most perfect foods, honey. They store the honey in the hexagonal honeycombs they build. But, have you ever wondered why bees always make their combs hexagonal? Mathematicians sought the answer to this question, and after lengthy calculations, came to an interesting conclusion. The best way of building a storehouse with the greatest capacity, but using the least possible amount of materials, is to make the walls hexagonal. Let us consider the other shapes. If bees built their combs as cylinders or as pentagonal prisms, then gaps would emerge between them and less honey could be stored in the combs. A honey store of triangles or squares could be built without leaving any gaps. But here, mathematicians realized a crucial point. Of all these geometric shapes, the one with the shortest circumference is the hexagon. For this reason, although they cover the same area, less material is needed for hexagons than for squares and triangles. In short, a hexagonal comb is the best shape for ensuring maximum storage capacity with minimum wax. Another surprising fact about bees is their cooperation in building their combs. When someone sees a completed comb, he may well imagine that it was built as a single block. But bees actually start building their combs from completely different points. Hundreds of bees set about building the comb from three or four different places. They continue building until they meet in the middle. There is not the slightest imperfection at the juncture. Bees also calculate the angle of the individual cells to each other when building their comb. The back-to-back -back comb cells are always built at an angle of 13 degrees to the ground. That way, both sides of the comb slope upwards. This angle prevents the honey spilling out of the combs. Wherever we go in the world, honeybees manage this extraordinary architecture perfectly every time. And they do it in the depths of the hive, in pitch dark, where sunlight cannot reach. There is a very interesting truth here. Bees exhibit these extraordinary characteristics from the moment they are born. They do not learn over time by observing the comb structure and direction. From the moment they open their eyes, they possess the skill. So who is teaching bees this architectural art? The answer to this question is given in the Holy Quran. In this book, which God sent down to men to show them the true path, he reveals the secret of honeybees' superb abilities. Your Lord inspired the bees. Make hives in the mountains and in the trees and in what they build. Then eat of all the fruits and walk in the ways of your Lord submissively. 
From their bellies comes a drink with different colors, which contains healing for mankind. Most surely, there is a sign in this for people who reflect. The secret of animals' extraordinary skills is the inspiration given them by God. And this applies to all living things, not just the honeybee. We can see this truth more clearly when we examine other architects in nature. <laughs> 